In this video, we're going to introduce the premise of heat transfer and explore a bit as we go forward how this heat transfer problem can be turned into a large system of linear equations and then how we can use MATLAB to make some incredibly accurate quantitative prediction about heat transfer in uh, two-dimensional plates. In a previous iteration of the course, to get this motivated, we asked students questions that they might be interested in studying in terms of design of heat transfer systems. And the question was, how would you actually choose or find some property of a system that has to be created or designed or manufactured? And so we had a variety of applications there, how to figure out the coil lengths that you need in a, a condenser for a refrigerator, in-floor heating pipes in a room, all the way down to uh, a very specific uh, motorcycle example, if a particular engine, 60, 600 cc, semi-direct injected uh, cooling system, snowmobile machine, how would you need to design the fins for that so that it can radiate the heat from the uh, combustion appropriately to not overheat it? So all of these cover a wide range of topics in heat transfer, but they all have, are driven by the same fundamentals. Fundamentally, heat transfer is driven by temperature differences. If you have a hot object and it's adjacent to a cold object, the atoms in this structure here are vibrating faster than the ones in the cold structure, and you're going to get heat flow from the hot to the cold. There is an important other realm of heat transfer, which is phase changes, liquid to solid and so on, evaporation, that kind of stuff. But most of the pragmatic day-to-day -day stuff that we look at is going to be driven strictly by hot points radiating their heat and energy into cold sinks. That's where we're going to spend our time looking at, and we're going to start off our next video looking at a particular modeling scenario.